Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Manuel Peralta and I wanted to make this video to see why the hell do some people think the way that they think? You know, trying to do something for somebody else and being considerate of their feelings, man, that shit is not an easy task. Why? Because you gotta look at the type of person that you're dealing with. If they're a big fucking baby, excuse my language, but if they're a big baby, they're gonna act like a big baby in any situation and always try to find a way to make it about them. So what do you need to do? What kind of people do you wanna have around you? Honestly, like, I don't wanna have no baby cry ass people around me, people that whine, people that complain. You know, there might be people that they're non-action takers, but they want to start taking action, you know, then that's cool. If you want to run with people that are action takers, perfect. Those are the perfect people you want to be friends with, you want to hang out with. That's the people you want in your circle. As a matter of fact, if you want to find out what kind of friends you really got, tell them something that you would do out of the ordinary and ask for their opinion just to see where their mind is at and the way that they think. If they're your friends, they're gonna give you at least a concave answer to where you'll be like, listen, you know, this is this and this is that, but if this is what you wanna do, do it. You know, go for it, just be careful, but go for it. Go for your goals, go for your dreams. You know, or the friends just say, man, look, just go for it and don't look back. You know, go for your goals, go for your dreams. That's usually what I tell people, you know, and it's funny because the people don't tell me that. They'll tell me, oh, whatever, I'm full of shit, this, that, the third, but you know what? It's all good because when I get to where I'm getting to and where I'm going to, I'm gonna look at those same people and say, well, it was nice hanging out with you. It was nice being friends with you, but I gotta go hang out with my friends with money. I gotta go hang out with my friends that have a vision, that actually care about what's going on, you know, and not just care about what's going on with them. Because you see, people are more attached to themselves than they are to even their kids. You know, some people are very, very, very like, very sick with that, you know, and they think that they should get a certain amount of respect or they should live in a certain demeanor because of whatever aspect that goes on in their mind. But let me tell you to all you people out there that think like that, you're a fucking idiot because you're not going to get anywhere thinking like that. You need to be the type of person that someone else would want to look up to. Do you think somebody wanna, wants to look up to a show off, to a know it all, to a I think I'm better than you? You think somebody wants to look? up to someone like that honestly it's disgusting so what kind of person would you want to look for do you want to look for a successful person that leads with value and helps you get to where you're trying to get to without holding your hand you know making sure that every aspect along the way is enduring and you're growing not just financially but emotionally mentally spiritually you know Physically, you're growing depending on what it is that you want, you know, depending on what it is that you're going after. But it, there's a growth and you feel the progress because you see people without progress. There is no there's no road. People won't feel like continuing if they don't see progress, because progress is what makes people want to continue to go. It's what builds your passion as well and gives you drive to continue the functions that you need to continue. So. You know, all of this also, I can show you how to simplify and, you know, put it on a blog. You know, if you don't have a blog, you can get one through me, you know, and I can teach you some of these cool guidelines, you know, to blogging, to getting your stuff ranked, to getting leads, and just, you know, to straight up being real and putting some real content out there to have people realize that, look, man, you're not the major stud that you thought you were. Your life isn't as good as you think it is because you're not free. You're working hours on the network and it's six. You know, you don't have time for your kids. You don't have time for yourself. A lot of times people work so much, they don't even have time for their relationship. So their relationship won't work. And then that's what just brings everything down because some people are not willing to 
put down their defense mechanism, open up their mind and really captivate what someone is saying to them because they don't care. They think about themselves. They're egotistical. And that's what we got to break people. We need to be more abundant. We need to be more free minded. We need to be more open to caring about what someone else needs if we're already getting a benefit because that's what we're put on this earth for. A lot of people think I'm full of it, but you know what? Keep thinking that because I will get to where I'm getting to because there will be some loyal followers. There will be some real believers who really care and really believe about what's going to happen next in their life, what's going to happen in their kid's life, what's going to happen in their grandkids' life. They want to see a future happen. They want a vision to come abroad and not to be stomped on, not to go to college to learn how to work for someone, not to you know go to high school come out of high school to go to college to learn how to work for someone this is 2013 people it's time to be entrepreneurs it's time to be different it's time to be you it's time to represent yourself not represent the job mentality not represent you know all you know having a job is secure forget that the job is so secure that you can get fired tomorrow then what are you gonna do go to unemployment then what are you gonna do? That's whack. People, take admission now. Grab a hold of your life. Grab a hold of it. You know, don't be fearful for it. Don't be scared. You know, embrace it. Embrace the fact that you have someone in front of you that actually cares enough to give you information to help you put yourself on a stepping stone and leverage yourself like everything that I've told you is mindset so let's say if you were to be an action taker and you take action because taking action makes you feel good and not taking action is disgusting because not taking action means you're lazy you're a bum you don't care about your life you don't care about your kids you don't care about nothing but yourself matter of fact you don't even care about yourself if you don't take action so what do you need to do people you need to take action you need to make that a habit you know what taking action is it's doing things that help enhance your life in a legal positive manner in a good manner in a spiritual manner even if it's with god but just connecting it to a way that gives you abundance and the power to command things into your life without you having a slave over it for someone else why do you always have to be on someone else's time card when the time card of life is yours right so this is what i'm going to tell you to do if you're a real action taker and you're tired of being disgusted with yourself, you're tired of being lazy, you're tired of looking for the next hot deal when really it's right in your face because don't look for a guru, be the guru, become the guru. If you become the guru, guess what? People come to you. I mean, even though being a guru is cool, but Listen, become the guru, take over, click the link down below, work with me, Manuel Peralta, and let's get the ball rolling. Let's make this happen. Take action now. Stop living disgusting. Start living free and clean, people, all right? Click the link down below and work with me. I love you. Peace.